Eternity, the values, priorities, family, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to tell you a brief story about a Danish immigrant to the United States who was named Christopher Bramson. Now, to me, he was grandpa. Though he was not a believer in Jesus Christ at the time of his immigration to the United States, Christopher chose to live in lovely Santa Barbara, California because, well, he had heard it was a place with 330 days of sunshine every year which is ideal for a landscaping and gardening business, exactly what he was pursuing. Now, shortly after opening his business, Christopher and his wife, they gave their hearts and their lives to Jesus Christ. Now, though their heart was to take the gospel to the uttermost parts of the earth, God closed seemingly every door that they knocked on and kept them in Santa Barbara where they actively testified for Jesus Christ with their neighbors, at work, on university campuses, and around the community. If there was anything that defined my grandpa, it was this, eternal values. That's the way he lived. He loved the gospel, he loved souls. He had his eyes on eternity. And at his garden nursery where he sold plants, well, there were two entrances and I'm on that very property right now. And every Sunday, a chain link fence was hung across the entrances with a sign that read, Sunday is the Lord's day, a holy day, not a holiday. We are closed. No, no, he wasn't being legalistic. He just had priorities and honoring God with the first day of his week, fellowshipping with God's people, having their table full of guests and often young people, and living out eternal values before his six children was paramount to Christopher. Of course, some of his friends would say, Chris, I'm sure the Lord makes it up to you what you lose by closing on Sunday. And my grandfather would reply, no, no, I don't think so, at least not financially. I'll lose a lot of money because we don't open on Sunday. But it's a choice that I've made to be with my family on the Lord's Day. Now, though Christopher stayed in the business about 20 years, competition got stiff and the day finally came where he could no longer make ends meet with the nursery, so he sold it to new ownership. I was sitting down with my 91-year-old grandmother and asking her about this story and she remarked, you know, some of his competitors are still in business in Santa Barbara, men with whom Christopher would often share the gospel. Now, of course, today, those men are dead, but their sons now run the businesses, and she went on. She said some of them even have streets in Santa Barbara named after them. <laughs> you know, that, that brought a smile to my face, because my grandfather might not have his name on the great green street signs of Santa Barbara, California, but you know, my grandfather has his name written in heaven. Oh, not because he closed on Sunday, but because he put his faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God who loved him and died for his sins, conquering the grave. And more than just that, my grandpa might not have passed his nursery on down to his children or his grandchildren, but you know, there's no doubt in my mind that my grandfather passed on something far better to each one of us eternal values. Two and a half miles from right here in Goleta Cemetery, Christopher's gravestone tells the story in, in five words, not ashamed of the gospel. As my wife is expecting our second baby in November, our child is in line to be the 100th Bramson from my grandparents down. Now, though this might seem nearly incredible, here's the reality. Every one of his children grandchildren, and yes, even his great-grandchildren, who are old enough, are God-fearing, Christ-loving souls, every single one of them. Now, now, God may have never let Christopher physically go to the ends of the earth, though Santa Barbara is quite a ways from Denmark, but 33 of his children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren have been full-time missionaries or grown up on the mission field. Eternal values. In the words of John the Apostle, the world is passing away along with its desires, but Whoever does the will of God abides forever. But there's one more fun fact I want to share with you. You see, years ago, this very parking lot where I'm standing had a chain link fence, like I said, covering its entrance every Sunday, declaring Sunday is the Lord's day, a holy day, not a holiday. We're closed. And wouldn't you know it, the only Chick-fil-A for over 40 miles, it's, well, it's on this very piece of land right where I'm standing, and yes, they're still closed on Sunday.